Hi, my name is Anthony Casada. I'm 16 years old, and I'm here to find out more about ferrofluids. A ferrofluid is interesting because it's neat how the magnetic field causes spikes to form along the surface of the fluid. But in the absence of a magnetic field, ferrofluid behaves just like any other fluid. When put in a magnetic field, the magnetic forces exceed the surface tension and natural weight of the fluid, causing the fluid to form spikes that follow the magnetic field lines. When the magnetic field is removed, the fluid falls back to its original state and shape and behaves once again as a normal fluid. Now since the fluid's weight is part of the reason why the fluid returns to its normal state, what happens when you put the ferrofluid in a microgravity environment? Upon removal of the magnetic field, will the fluid retain its spike shape? I believe it would. The test procedure should be quite simple. Since ferrofluid is susceptible to evaporation when exposed to air, it's already a requirement that the fluid be contained in a sealed container, one that is transparent so we can see the spikes. A small magnet easily held in one's hand can be placed over the top clear container and spikes should form at the surface of the fluid. Then the magnet is quickly removed and we will be able to see whether the spikes retreat due to the fluid surface tension or if the spikes are able to remain in place suspended in microgravity. Fair fluid is used in a number of art pieces where, ma where a magnetic field is either continuously in effect or is induced on a time basis. If microgravity conditions allow the ferrofluid to retain its spike shape after the removal of the magnetic field, it would allow the experiment to remain as a standing piece of art that can be admired by the residents on board the ISS. Thank you.